afternoon squad how is everyone doing today and a welcome to another vlog so today it is saturday january the 22nd yes 22nd of january already so i'm not sure how long i've been vlogging for i think about two weeks two or three weeks so 22nd of january about a week and a half will be the end of January going into February. Where does time ever go? I haven't even had a big storm yet. I'm kind of waiting for a huge snowstorm. I'm waiting for it. I love big snowstorms, like a blizzard-like snowstorm. You know, days that I don't need to go out and don't do anything. That's the day I want a huge storm. So let's talk about Canada Post again, because I talked about Canada Post yesterday and we're talking about them again today check my tracking again last night and they changed the date from the 24th to now the 27th so i have to wait i think four extra days i don't know what they're doing i think they're just taking their time i've never experienced this sort of issue with ups pure later or fedex they're always consistent when it comes to their delivery dates and they always deliver it on that date so i'm not sure what's going on with canada Post. i'm not sure if it's because they're always slow like this but I think I prefer UPS over Canada Post. Do you guys all agree? I think mainly the problem was the borders. CBSA has to do their little inspection, see what's in the box. If it's not anything illegal, it's coffee. I've never seen coffee taking forever to be delivered. I'm not sure if I'll ever order from Javi. I mean, I love Javi. And you guys all know how I rave about Javi. Javi has to be the most amazing concentrate it's easy you get a cup of coffee or iced coffee in minutes and you can make it the way you want canada post and my honest opinion is unreliable I had bad experience with them they're always late and they always change the date of delivery i'm not sure if i'm the only one that has so much problems with them but let me know if you guys have ever experienced a time where you've had so much problems with canada post delivering your order i can't be the only one that has so many issues with canada post i prefer like i said i prefer ups pure later fedex but not canada post i just like their service they're slow and for the amount of money you pay to have it delivered how slow they are so i just came back from the store and i'm gonna go back inside and make myself a cup of coffee because i had a coffee this morning from tim horn i think a coffee at home would be much better and it saves me two bucks <laughs> Let me know what you guys are all doing on this cold Saturday afternoon. By the time you see this vlog, it will be Sunday. So let me know in the comment section below and what you guys are doing on this cold Sunday afternoon. I think snow is coming because it is snowy, getting colder. You see, a little bit of snowflakes. It is cold. So I did my newspapers, just came back from the store, had to get some ground beef. That's pretty much it. <laughs> I had everything except ground beef. I'm not sure if we'll use it tonight. I did take out some pork chops, so we might cook something with ground beef tomorrow, but I figured we'll just grab some ground beef. So that way I don't need to do anything tomorrow, right? Other than vlogging and probably tomorrow's vlog won't be as long and as entertaining as any other day. <laughs> because weekends, I just want to kind of sit back and relax and not do any more work, you know? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so it is six o'clock and I'm going to be eating a dinner. Dinner looks amazing. Well, this is dinner. We got pork chops and we got some roasted potatoes, peas and green beans. This looks amazing dinner. What you guys all think? Let me know in the comment section below what you guys are having for dinner and a bon appetit everyone. And let's talk about dinner. What do you guys are having? Let's, let's talk about it. It's about 11-ish right now, and I just got done doing the dishes. It's been a crazy day. I didn't film much, but I did film some of the afternoon and some of the evening. My dinner, of course, dinner was amazing. I just rubbed the pork chops with some St. Hubert barbecue seasoning. Seasoning that I did show you guys in a couple of vlogs ago. It was really good. I'll show you guys the seasoning again. So this is the seasoning that I used. It's the St. Hubert's barbecue seasoning that my mom had gotten me for a gift. And I really, really like this. The flavor is outstanding. This works great with pork chops. I haven't tried chicken. Maybe next time I'll use chicken with this seasoning and see if it actually adds 
flavor. I know my favorite seasoning of all is the maple bacon seasoning. You guys all know. I think I've raved about it so many times in many vlogs. So how everyone has their own favorite seasonings. Let me know in the comment section below on what seasoning do you guys use a lot in cooking. Do you guys use St. Hubert? Do you guys use some sort of barbecue seasoning? Do you guys use maple bacon? Let me know what is your favorite seasonings of all. And let me know if you guys can find it on Amazon. Let me know and I'll definitely look it up and I'll buy it. Try it for you guys. Because I'm always looking into possibly expanding my seasoning that I have into other seasonings that you guys might enjoy, that you guys think that I would enjoy. But drop them all your seasoning ideas below. I do love this as well. This is Herbe de Provence. This is so good, so flavorful. If you add this on any pork or any chicken, you guys will definitely tell a difference using this. This is classic Herbe de Provence. In it, there's thyme, fennel, basil, savory, and lavender. I'm not sure what's savory. I'm not sure if that's any spice, but this is so good. I add this on everything that I cook, especially potatoes. Roasted potatoes, Herbe de Provence works fantastic. Maybe what I'll do in another vlog, maybe not tomorrow, but in another vlog, if you guys would like to see my seasoning collection. That's why I asked if you guys have any seasonings, ideas for me to add to my collection already. Let me know, like I said, in the comment section below on what seasoning do you guys like, and do you guys like to see my seasoning collection? Let me know. I think I'm gonna call it a day, but I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog. If you guys did, and you guys wanna show your support for me doing these vlogs for you guys, you guys know what to do. Give this video a thumbs up, subscribe as always, and don't forget to ring that notification bell so you never miss a vlog. All my links to my social media in the description. So till tomorrow, peace out.